Hey, Gorak Nation. How you guys doing? Uh, welcome to uh, Wednesday Warrior Wisdom. And uh, what I want to kind of key in on is uh, uh, leadership, specifically a warrior's patience concerning leadership. Hey, there's a lot going on this day age. Uh, we're in some uh, very interesting times, to say at least. Uh, I think it it all behooves us to have what some of the Japanese call as nintai uh, or warrior perseverance. You know, an understanding of not making rash decisions, jumping on massive bandwagons, uh, but to think things out, use some strategic posturing uh, in the sense of uh, making emotional decisions. Take emotion out of it, as a good buddy of mine used to say, and think about this, the situation. That's important uh, as, as leaderships, because we're all gonna find ourselves in very interesting predicaments, whether uh, we thrust ourselves into those or it happens to be thrust upon us uh, due to uh, circumstances. And in this day of age, you can be at the mall and all of a sudden uh, things go crazy, right? So uh, it, it's about making decisions, decisions that affect you, decisions that affect your family, uh, loved ones. Uh, leaders sometimes have to step back from everything, right? It's, it's one of the hardest things to do is, uh, is kind of being emotionally withdrawn from the situation and looking at the facts. And sometimes those, the decisions you make are not going to be what the mainstream is thinking, you know? Uh, but hey, you know, you have to look at what's, what's morally right, what's also brings the best outcome for the, the objective, you know, for the greater good of your family, for the greater good of the, your loved ones. You know, being in a leadership position is not hard. I mean, it's, I just, I've, it's hard. <laughs> I take that back, not hard. Yeah, I'm rucking out here in God's country, uh, getting my uh, evening ruck on here in the great state of uh, Ohio. Um, but uh, yeah, leadership, let's get back to that. Because uh, I, I find that that's, in this day of age, strong leaders are few and far between. People fall in under the masses. You know, and go ruck, we've always stressed to build better Americans. And sometimes it's taking the hard right as opposed to the easy left. You know, it, everybody's driving one way and sometimes you gotta be steadfast. Uh, Jason was talking a while back about high ground and you know sometimes you got to take the moral high ground um, and just because you can't take everything at, at, at face value and what's thrown at you which leaders have to look into that minutia into that detail before they make extreme decisions that would cost somebody's life and we do that in every day I mean uh, and nowadays you have to make some extreme decisions uh, and uh, with regards to work, finances, you know, the betterment of your family, and it's all applicable, right? We're out there getting some, you know, uh, in this day, getting out there, getting your ruck on, you know, that's, that's in a leadership decision right now. Hey, I go out and ruck, man. I'm going to go out and I'll live in a city, you know? Everything's very volatile in cities nowadays, protesting, you know? I got to make a, a decision, man. I need to stay healthy, right? But... You know, what, what do I do, you know? Well, where can I go? How do I avoid certain things? Those are, those are all, you know, just because you're not running a, a, a counter-terrorist cell and kicking down a door doesn't mean you're not faced with some uh, e e extreme challenges. And we need to look at these things today. And more than ever, making sound and timely decisions is important. Uh, not just rash and emotional decisions because Everybody's all flared up about something. Uh, you see that much too often these days. And, uh, you know, one person says something and throws the whole world in whack. You know, is it that one person representative of the whole? You know, as an as a, as a individual leader, you got to assess that. Uh, too, much, too much jumping on bad wagons. And, and a good leader is 
don't always jump on the bandwagon. Sometimes they go against the, the tide and you can't, can't be afraid to go against the tide. Uh, you know, there's, you, look, you look into things, make decisions, like I said, based on the, the safety uh, for yourself, those you care about, family, friends, and then you can look in your outer ring. You know, your inner ring is yourself, your family, right? What's, what's most important to you. Uh, and then your outer ring is those friends that you are, that are near and dear and you trust, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, I've made decisions in, uh, in my military career. You know, not everybody, not everybody on my team agreed with it, but it was for a greater, greater cause and we could see that. You know, you're not always gonna agree, but uh, I never made rash decisions. Um, you know, I've always had to take my time and step back from a situation. And I think, uh, you know, when one of our mottos in Go Ruck, you know, build better Americans, you know, and that civilian military bridge that we, we try to do is one of the tools of the trade. If anybody's ever done an event with me, I'm always talking about accountability as, a, as, as one of my mantras. And the other thing is decisions and not making rash decisions, knowing the capabilities of, of your family members, right? Because, uh, or your friends and being able to know what they're capable of and what needs to, to occur, occur. And I think that's uh, important in these day of age that people are just uh, getting so emotional about an incident or a saying without looking deep down into it, you know? Uh, Leadership's important, whether you're a mom and you got two kids and you're out at the uh, playground and something goes off, you know, obviously that motherly love, that instinct is going to take over, but sometimes you got to like just pause and assess the situation. Or maybe you're, you don't have family, maybe you got a four legged kid, right? Uh, uh, you know, it's uh, your work. I mean, we're all leaders in in some fashion. We've got to we're in control of something. You know, I, mean, I don't think too many people out there haphazardly living uh, day to day. I mean, there, there are probably some folks, but hey, that's not what this is about. This is about focusing on on principles of leadership and and having a little warrior's patience and not just making a rash decision or rushing to to. Uh, uh, to bust down that door, so to speak. Sometimes you got a plan on how you're gonna bust that door down. I mean, there, don't get me wrong, there are, there are instances in your life when it's now or never, but in most cases, we have some time to think and uh, do some deductive reasoning and gather facts. And I think in this day of age, that's, that's an important trait or fundamental that's uh, lacking in, in society and uh, like to uh, just have you guys think about that for a minute you know um, but anyway getting at it in God's country uh, surveying got me a little friend that's been kind of uh, following me a little groundhog here let's see if I can focus in on him it's always uh, good to see nature out when you're walking in God's country and See if we can get my buddy here. Been running around this here lake. Let me show it to you guys. It's God's country here. This is uh, part of uh, just next door to my property. So, uh, oh, my buddy just took off. So, hey, uh, like I said, you know, it's it's about getting after it, man. When you're when you're rucking and you're making decisions, uh, you know. Um, think about that. Think about the, uh, the, what makes a good leader, right? It's uh, knowing your assets, knowing your people, knowing your family members. That's, uh, that's important. Knowing your objectives, what has to be done. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys are having a good, good week in these crazy times. And I uh, hope to see some of you in person here pretty soon. Bye.